Well, viewers and subscribers of AVT News, welcome back. You know that we've been updating you on the happenings or the goings on uh, in the nomination court. Now we have an interview with Misty Mutata Pulu, who is a former member of parliament for the MTC Alliance, uh, who has seen today carrying papers, nomination papers to the nomination court for five candidates whose uh, papers have been signed by Sengezo Chabangu. So he spoke uh, to journalists in Bulawayo. Here is the interview. The Statistic General has commented on that question. Uh, and I'm sure his office knows uh, what, because he has made statements and I'm sure I'll stand by those. Uh, it is not for me to, to comment on that. But what I can tell you is that what is apparent today is that you have you have a double candidates which have filed under the, the, the triple C party. And that indicates that there are fissures within that part. And uh, uh, fissures are an opportunity for people to reach out to each other and engage and iron out whatever it is that is causing those rifts. Uh, so that a, a, an organization may move forward. Let me tell you how you judge uh, an organization and its strength. An organization should be able to deal with its matters. It must have internal mechanisms to handle these shocks, the internal shocks. Um, and, and, and once an organization is able to do that, it has matured, it is moving forward. And I have no doubt that this organization has the backbone to resist these shocks has the ability to hold discussions on these uh, different subjects or topics that are, are the subject of uh, discussion. An organization that is robust, built on firm principles, uh, a firm constitution, and firm leadership should really be able to withstand uh, these shows. Discussion uh, within an organization um, and contestation of ideas is not really an unhealthy thing. What is unhealthy is un our inability to handle those contradictions, our unwillingness to handle those contradictions, and our unpreparedness to handle those uh, those debates. That, that's it. So that's what, my view. So what are the implications of having uh, double candidates uh, in, in today's uh, case? Because there are people who um, record from the party but we see them coming back under the same panel. I, I, I'm, I'm not in a position to, to, to give you an analysis of those implications. But I can tell you that what it does, it divides votes um, for that particular party, and, uh, and, 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 and that might not augur well. I'm sure that uh, 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 the, the, the involved parties uh, still have time. Uh, to debate and, and agree and, 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 and come to agreements uh, on, on ensuring that they mitigate or reduce uh, the, the double candidates. There, there's absolutely no, in my view, nothing to be gained by this current state of affairs. But at the same time, uh, the, the, you know, you know, uh, you know, peace is not the absence of war. If, if you get me. Uh, at the same time, you will not, you, 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 it's not healthy to, keep, to be quiet and not uh, discuss issues and not challenge certain things which you think are uh, not being done properly simply because you require peace. You may find peace, peace in a prison. Peace in a prison is not peace at all. So, talking and contestation is not necessarily the existence of war. That's my idea. Is idea a career goal? 